Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we're back to Sam and Max. Let us continue. We've got to figure out what is going wrong in Reality 2.0 and how we can kill the internet. Well, we know what's going wrong. So I can't walk on these squares that are not there. Uh, the internet is trying to hypnotize everybody. There's pop-up ads. And then your train here is just a bunch of zoo and ones. Let's look at this poster. Bunko Lavadero. Reality 2.0 is connected to the World Wide Web. For your convenience, please take the time to visit our sponsors. Jack in the Box. Interesting. <gasps> Jack in the Box. Let's kill it. Whoa. Pop ups. Can't we get away from ads anywhere? We believe that you will want to hear about products available from our sponsors. Pretty solid. All promotions in Reality 2.0 are tailored to the buying habits of the individual user. Cod swallow. I heard that. So that's Teddy Bear's Casino. Let's see, ray gun on the jack in the box. Didn't work. I can't Teddy get near Bears with these impenetrable ads free popping up all the time. Casino. Hmm. So we're gonna have to get that jack in the box. Let's go in the control room, see what's there. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Take a chill pill, R2. It's just us. What the me hill is going on in here? I'm sorry, the selection Dialogue with Cops is currently unavailable in your area. Please check back later for updated conversation times. Excuse us. We have a reality to simulate. Hmm. So it looks like these guys are the ones working with the internet to destroy everything. We'll have to come back to this later. So we found the plus two sword is up here and a plus two sword would be able to take out antibiotic so I could put some kind of virus. I read only Sam and Max. Read only. Okay. Only. So we can go into our virtual office. Let's go into our virtual office, see what that's all about. Wow, well, it's I guess this is what our office would look like if it didn't exist yet. What? You guys? I swear, wherever I go, there you are. Oh, don't tell me you've become a Buddhist. Say, <laughs> what have you got there, Jimmy? Oh no, get away from me. Hand it over, mini jerk bag. No way. I stole this coin fair and square. Now, Jimmy, we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. But personally, I'm leaning towards the hard way. It's mine. Beat it. Hmm. Okay. So this place is so clean. We could use the phone. Let's look at Mr. Spatula. How is it that Mr. Spatula is here? Tiny waterproof goggles? Let's see what we can do with the phone. Who was it? Our future. Yeah, crank collars. I love those guys. Interesting. Let's look at the ant farm. Cyber ants. Reality 2.0 is the first and only massively multi-ant experience. Girl, you have got to go on a picnic sometime. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Whee! All right, let's go to the rat hole since there's nothing else we can do here. Jimmy, don't make me come in there. I'd like to see you try, fat feet. They're big bone. Seriously, <laughs> his metatarsals are massive. Well, then use your ginormous feet to beat it. Let's see, computer bug in the right hole. Hey, Jimmy. Beat it! Uh, punching boxing glove in the right hey, hole. Hey, Jimmy. Beat it! Hmm. 
Ray gun? In the rat hole. Nope. So we're missing something. We need to find something to get that coin. See, the environment's so empty though, you know that there isn't much that you need to work with. You don't have to click on a bunch of ton of stuff that's not important. A recycling bin. That is like a one large recycle bin. Save the earth. The internet wizard. It's Hugh Bliss. Well, if it isn't my recurring nightmare in the artificial flesh, the grinning disembodied head of Hugh Bliss. Hugh, I just want you to know that the way you unashamedly use your personal celebrity to thrust your spiritual beliefs on others is an inspiration to us all. I love you, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm not Hugh Bliss. I hate you. Wait, you're not? <laughs> no, silly. I'm the Internet Wizard. I'm an entirely virtual being, you see? But I've thoughtfully taken the form of Hugh Bliss to help you understand my role in your new reality. I still hate you. Okay. So what are you doing here, Internet Wizard? What exactly is your role in our new reality? I do just what any friendly neighborhood wizard would do. All of my neighborhood wizards have been evil, so I'm not really sure what that would be. Well, I can answer your questions with cryptic clues, pass out the odd magical item, prophesy, <laughs> the huge. Can, how about a magic trick? Let's see one. Why don't you show us something magical? I'll do better than that. I'll give you something magical. It's not more Sorry. magic beans, is it? My mom will kill me if I come home with more of those. No, it's your very own rainbow! A rainbow of lead-based color for your car. Uh, you're giving us paint? Uh, 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 not paint. A rainbow customization kit. Oh, well, that's a whole other story. Just use it with your car to express your inner being with all the colors of the rainbow. Some colors not available when prohibited. Uh, okay. Give us some cryptic clues. How about Oh, that? supposedly wise wizard, we have a question for you. Hooray! Please select your question. If you don't see it, simply type it in. You can understand what we type? No, of course not. <laughs> but typing is fun and a proven stress reliever. I think I'm about to relieve some stress all over this guy's skull. Can you see our future? Can you see our future? Why, yes. Yes, I can. I see... nothing! Now, see, I would have phrased that as, No, no, I cannot see your future. No, I mean I see blackness. Blackness all around. It's terrible. Ooh. How okay. needlessly enigmatic. Thank you. Come again! And what are we trying to do? How do we win? Uh, what? Win the game? You know, beat it. Oh, no, no. In reality 2.0, everybody wins. Except the monsters. They die! Killing monsters is right up our online alley. How do we do that? <laughs> some are easy. Some are hard. But be careful. If you get hurt in reality 2.0, your original body may feel the blow. <laughs> Owie. Hmm. See you later. I'm all out of questions. But I'm not out of answers. Who cares? <laughs> Let's check the gumball machine. I guess this is what video game characters eat when they need to rot their teeth out. Hey, where are the big honking ones that let you eat ghosts? Reality 2.0 caters to all manner of life forms, including dead life forms. The eating of ghosts has been disallowed to cater to our spectral clientele. Apparitions welcome. AIs are always so PC. <laughs> Let's see the news ticker. It's going by so fast. This is much cooler than a newspaper. Is the news any better? No. Okay, so let's see what this is saying. President Max demotes Florida to a territory. That's what that's saying. It... 
That's going by really fast. How did I even read that? Well, if I focus my eyes, because I have trained myself to speed read, I can slow it down amazingly. That's weird. I'm probably freaking out about nothing there, but it does, it slows down quite a lot when I focus my eyes on it compared to not paying attention to it. But it's not like my mouse is going over it and slowing it down or anything. Straight.net and narrow.org. The internet is not responsible for any content generated by users over which it has no control. Yeah, I wouldn't go to either one of those websites. Let's click on the save point and save. Your progress has been saved. Try doing that in the so-called real world. Hey, wait! Well, actually, I guess I can just save the game. In fact, it was just saved, but I can always click save here, too. <laughs> Let's go to Bosco's e-convenience instead of inconvenience. He has e-guns and e-beer and e-meat and e-candy. Well, with the Oculus Rift and all that coming out eventually, things like this may actually come to happen, but I doubt it. I really seriously doubt it. Let's see what's in the coin bag. I guess that's what passes for a cash register in these parts. And then... The item list, the cloak of visibility, the elven boots of sloth, and the wooden longsword. Half elf discounters. Let's look at the magazines. The old organ barter, self flogging weekly, wench bunny, something for the whole family. <laughs> All right, let's talk to Bosco. We want to buy some of your virtual goods. What have you got? My wares were designed for the fashionable half elf, not the brutish half monster. Gee, no one's ever called me brutish before. I don't know what to say! And yet, I do have one weapon of such devious simplicity that even an incompetent swordsman such as yourself could wield it. The Platinum Sword of Berserker Testiness? The Enchanted Crossbow of Massive Decapitation? The Pushpin of Eternal Punishment? Nay! The Wooden Long Sword of Intensa uh, Longness! Okay, Bosco, give us the wooden long sword of intense longness. Bosco? Is that really you? I should ask thee the same question! Go ahead! What? Ask us the same question! Okay, is that really you? Yes, why do you ask? Guys, it's me, Bosco! I just got my new reality 2.0 goggles, and with them, I have started the internet revolution! For the Shire! Those are hypnotic goggles. Bosco, don't look now, but I think your Reality 2.0 goggles may have hypnotized you. Please! Half-elf rangers of my level are impervious to every form of hypnosis enchantment. Ooh, this reminds me of those internet quizzes where you look at a bunch of shifty strangers and have to decide serial killer or United States Senator. Except <laughs> they're asking hypnotized or not hypnotized. Listen, guys, I'm perfectly happy in Reality 2.0. I never want to leave, ever. Yep, hypnotized. Now where's my free laptop? How's life on the internet? So how's Reality 2.0 treating you, Bosco? Oh, it's great. I'm never leaving this place. Did you know in Reality 2.0, shelf space is infinite? Uh, don't you have the exact same amount of shelf space that you had in the original reality? Hmm. Well, I'll tell you one thing. My money's a lot safer here than in that other reality. Your money's on the internet? What makes your money so safe on the internet? I got it all in one of those offshore banks. You know, real for it. All digital, safer that way. Does this bank have a name? Well, don't go posting it on the street or nothing, but it's called BancoLavadero.com. Banco Lavadero? Isn't that Spanish for baby got back? No, <laughs> I don't know what it means. I just know it's safe. 
How do we pay you online? That's if we wanted question. to pay real life money to your bank account, how would we do it? It's easy. All you gotta do is drive down the information superhighway to BancoLavadero.com and transfer the money. That is easy. Oh, and you'll also have to know my top secret account password, which I would never tell anybody for any reason whatsoever. So, what's your bank account password? Bosco, we want to transfer a huge sum of money to your bank account. Just tell us the password. Yeah, funny thing. The deposed king of Nigeria was just in here saying the exact same thing. Yeah, but we're serious, and we have guns. Give us the password. No! <laughs> in fact, I had it wiped from my memory, so they can't even torture it out of me. Then how do you remember it when you need it? Well, just between you and me, I went down the street and had the password tattooed on a certain part of my body. Somewhere no one will ever look. May we see a tattoo? Oh, I don't want to ask this question, but I'll do it. This may well go down as the most ill-advised question I've ever asked, but may we see your private tattoo? No! Besides, I didn't tattoo it on my virtual avatar. It's on my real body, dummy. All right, fine. We'll just go check out your so-called real body. I'm not showing it to you there either. Hmm. Let's see. Take off those goggles. Fosco, you've got to take off those goggles, man. I never want to leave. Ever. We want to buy something, I guess. Wooden long sword of intense longness. Not to put too fine a point on it, but that can't be selling for very much on eBay. Certainly! There are greater weapons to be had, but none of such intense uh, longness. Fine, let's cut to the chase. How much are we talking here? Five gold coins! Five gold coins? Are you insane? We're never gonna find that kind of money! Wait, five gold coins? That's it? Tis a bargain! Tis! Okay... So we just need five we'll take gold take that long coins. sword if you please. Have you the requisite five coins? Uh, no. Not quite that many. Then take us be a hike! See you later, Bosco. See you later, Bosco. For the Shire! Hot rump. Wow, that rump is hot. Okay. <laughs> Meat. All these potions on that thing. Let's look at the poison mead here. Poison mead. Between Bosco's copy and poison mead, I take my chances with the mead. Sludgy machine. Spawn point? What does that mean? Ew! It's kind of cute, actually. It must die, Sam. It and every single one of its kind must die! I need the experience. Okay, so let's get this menacing blue slime. It's a slime. Clearly hostile. Look at it! It means to kill us all! No one is safe from the blue menace! No one! Well, if it's hostile, let's hit it with our ray gun. <laughs> Didn't do diddly. Let's hit it with the boxing glove, I guess. Entering combat. Blue slot. Dexterity, two. Your dexterity, three. You have initiative. Sam, attacked. Attack with item, attack with whip, flee, let's attack with whip, with, oh that says quip, not whip, attack with item, uh, ray gun. Attack failed, blue slime has failed, morale check, blue slime has fled, the contest is a draw. I think I scared the little blue nebbish. Don't scare it, kill it! What did you have for breakfast this morning, Max? I'm experimenting with a new high-sugar, high-caffeine diet. I find it makes me more regular. Okay, so... We're gonna have to get a weapon that actually works to kill that. And then we'll come back and try that Potions again. Potions of heavily processed meat tastiness, plus one. Starch, it's what you're looking for. 
The bathroom's missing. No bathrooms in Reality 2.0, apparently. And another potion counter here. Potion of sudden indigestion. Potion of immediate burning sensation. Potion of grammatical correctness, minus one. <laughs> Potion of subtraction, plus one. Potion of subtraction, plus one. Potion okay. of predict present. Calamine Lotion Potion. Potion of Potion Naming Creativity. Potion of Sudden Indigestion. Okay, so that's that whole joke. Going through. So we need to get his password. Do we need to get it now is the question. Or is there something more we can do? We have this paint. Rainbow paint kit. Let's try it on our car and see if we can use our car in this reality. Um, see if it gets us down the information superhighway to some new locations. DeSoto. Hey, that looks like our car! And then I say we claim it. Where are we going, Sam? BancoLavadero.com BancoLavadero.com Ooh, fun! Wow! What's this? I think it's a security barrier. Hmm, check some invalid. Access denied. Okay, so we gotta paint our car a rainbow to get past the firewall. It's like red, blue, green. And then the license plate matches that. So this is red, purple, green. See the license, the first three letters are are explaining it to us here. It seems like we can just sit here. So try the megaphone. Open up or we'll open fire. It doesn't seem impressed. Let's try the ray gun. It didn't work, oh wait. So we Let's gotta go head back, back to, to our office. virtual neighborhood. Yeah, the information superhighway is duller than my grandma's molars. So we need blue, red, then purple on the car to get through the firewall. Hi, I'm the Reality 2.0 Rainbow Customization Kit. I can help you express yourself with a full range of color options for your vehicle avatar. What color would you like the front of your car to be? Blue. Blue. Marvelous. Now how about the middle? Red. Red. Excellent. And the back? Purple. Purple. Hmm, charming. Congratulations! You customized your vehicle avatar! Drive safely! Yeah, thanks. So let's get Where back going, in there Sam? and get through the firewall. BuncoLavadero.com Ooh, fun! Now, you've seen an episode of me already being completely confused and not being able to solve a simple puzzle. I could see a lot of people not figuring this one out in the same way. Check sound verified. Access approved. Well, here we are. Banco Lavadero. Located conveniently outside the jurisdiction of any significant regulatory body. Say, wait a minute. This is no ordinary bank. Look at all the arrows. 
This is a devilishly complicated money laundering operation. Money launderers. Oh, I hate those guys. They always mix in the 10 euro notes and stain everything pink. National Treasury? Toy Mafia? I knew the mob and the government were in cahoots. Cahoots? <laughs> is that in Canada? Washington. So... The way this is set up is that we want the money that's coming from this person to end up where? Bosco's? There's Can't Bosco's account. This. Do you think he's mixed up in all this? I think he's mixed up all by himself. Agreed. I think he's too paranoid to belong to any group whatsoever. But he does his banking at a shady offshore establishment? Of course. Don't you? Touché. So it looks like we can uncook if we want to start, a, start over. Please speak or enter your password. Swordfish? Swordfish. Password incorrect. Access denied. Bosco sure picked a great bank. Okay, so Toy Mafia. Cook the books. Puts it right there. You Cooking have to admire this. the pro lobby lobbyists for their unrepentantly self serving stance. I prefer the charming self destructed nihilism of the anti lobby lobbyists. Okay, so that went full circle. Hey Sam, what's the difference between online banking and online gambling? Judging by what I see here, not much. Let's Grandma Bosco? One. Is that who I think it is? Former Postmaster General, inventor of bifocals and the flexible urinary catheter? You're thinking of Benjamin Franklin. I think this is Bosco's grandmother. Right, I always get those two mixed up. It's the key. So, from Grandma Bosco, it can go to Bosco, I guess. No, it doesn't look like you can. Looks like until we have the password, the... We can't spin this bottom one. So we've got the money where it needs to be except for it's one step away. Digital business. Now there's a vague term. If you think about it, analog business is even more vague. We could also put it in the national treasury. Perhaps that's the better place to put it. No. How many times will the split in half, I wonder? So you got 63 million in there. Let's turn this this way. Turn this this way. Turn this this way. Messing this up badly. Let's see. Let's try this.
Almost there. Almost got it. So now we've got a thousand in the a uh, thousand million in the national treasury. Looks like our entire national treasury is just a drop box in a huge money laundering operation. As president, you'd think I'd know about these things. I'm sure you've got more important matters on your feverish mind. Earlier this week, I issued a decree to abolish the word proactive. Unusually public spirited of you, little buddy. Mr. Bibb. A pseudonym, perhaps? I frequently use a pseudonym myself, you know. Really? What is it? Max. Alright, so I think that's all we can Let's do head right back now. To our virtual neighborhood. I don't think we really accomplished anything. We're gonna have to get back to Bosco. So we'll go back to our virtual neighborhood, and from our virtual neighborhood, we'll take off the goggles and go back to reality. So the silliness of this, of course, is that you are just actually walking around actual reality. So you could be stumbling into things and running into things. So we've got to figure out how to get a peek at Bosco's tattoo. And it's something I don't really want to do, but I think it's something we're going to have to do. But we will do it next recording. That's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it and make a donation. If you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.